911? Hi, yes, my name is Carly Russell and it's a baby on the side of the road. I'm about I-40. No, I didn't get out. No, okay, yeah, I can stay right here. Okay, five minutes, cause y'all close? All right. Target, got my money I stole from work. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Hey, All right guys, so we got to talk about the Carly Russell story. A story about a 25-year-old nursing student who alleged she was kidnapped in Alabama last week while attempting to help a toddler on the interstate. And she has now mysteriously returned home. And this story has gotten national news attention, okay? And I wanna talk about it, even though I'm not really particularly interested in the story. I mean, I thought when I first heard the story, I was like, you know, this sounds fake. Let's wait, right? Let's wait until the details come out. Uh, before we actually talk about this, okay, because it sounded fake. It sounded like something that's fabricated, but who knows, right? When you're talking about people being kidnapped, okay, especially when you're talking about black women, okay, you got to be careful, okay? You got to be careful how you talk about it uh, because they're going to claim that, hey, you don't believe black women. <laughs> so it's better to wait until the details come out. And good thing I did because this story indeed seems to be fake. Again, that's what police are suggesting as uh, more evidence comes out that this woman basically plotted her own kidnapping for whatever reason, we really don't know yet why she would do this, but essentially the story goes like this, right? Allegedly, uh, this woman got off work and she was driving alongside the interstate, I-459 uh, uh, in Hoover, Alabama, and she called 911 to report a lost child uh, wandering along the highway in a diaper okay now she claimed that the child had walked like i don't know six football fields or something like that which again is just not believable at all that a child would walk alongside a highway for that long without actually running into the highway or being ran over anything like that but anyways this is what she said and then after stopping presumably to check on the child i guess um you know she went missing now uh according to police camera footage uh, she got out of the car and went to uh, the passenger side of the vehicle and then disappeared uh, three minutes later before police arrived, right? She was gone. <laughs> now, there were no other calls about a missing child. And 49 hours later, after she first disappeared, uh, she returned home on foot. And at that point, uh, medics were dispatched to Russell's house to check on her uh, at the reports of her being unresponsive but a breathing person. However, when they arrived, uh, she was awake and speaking. Uh, apparently, she had a small lip injury, a tear in her shirt, and $107 in cash in her right sock. Uh, she told investigators her account of what happened on July 13th. Uh, she told police that uh, a man came out of the woods and told her uh, he was checking on the child and then forced her over a fence and into a car. The next thing she can remember, she told investigators, uh, that she was in a trailer of a truck with a man with orange hair and a woman while hearing a baby crying. I wonder, did that man have a MAGA hat, <laughs> right? This is what she's saying, okay? This is her details of, you know, what happened when she was kidnapped. Uh, she also alleged that the man and woman took her to a home and took photos of her while she was undressed. Uh before she claimed that she escaped and ran through the woods to get back home <laughs> right so yeah uh this is her story and police have come out and basically said you know we think this is bs because the evidence that we have suggests that this was something that you planned and you plotted against yourself before all this stuff happened take a look Stephen, that's exactly why Chief Durgis wanted to hold this news conference today to share the facts in this investigation so far. While this investigation certainly isn't over, several details about Carly Russell's search history and what happened prior to her calling 911 were revealed today. Through the public interest, and in some cases, public fear that this story has generated, we owe it to our citizens to tell them the facts that we have uncovered.
The 911 call Carly Russell made the night she went missing was played. I am on Interstate 459 and there is a kid just walking by their cell. Investigators found during the time of that call, Russell drove 600 yards in her car, the length of six football fields. To think that a toddler barefoot that could be three or four years old is going to travel six football fields without getting in the roadway, without crying, without any any just moving down. It's very it's just very hard for me to understand. Chief Nick Durzis also revealed that Russell concealed a robe and tool of paper prior to leaving work that night. Then she stopped at Target buying snacks. Police unable to find those items with her phone, wig and other belongings they found on the interstate. Investigators uncovered Russell's search history prior to her disappearance, including information on Amber Alerts, a one way bus ticket, how to take money from a register without being caught and the movie taken. I do think it's it's highly, highly unusual to uh, uh, the day that uh, that that someone gets kidnapped that uh, several seven hours or eight hours before that, that they're uh, searching the Internet, Googling uh, the movie taken about an abduction. I, I find that very uh, very strange, yes. In the one interview investigators did have with Russell, she told them she was abducted and escaped not only once but twice, painting a detailed picture about what happened, a story police have not been able to verify. Do you think in this case that charges will be forthcoming towards Carly Russell and how serious of a crime is it to not only fabricate a 911 call, but to lie to law enforcement during an investigation. Well, you know, again, that's not something that we've been discussed since we're going through the uh, through the uh, uh, civil investigation. But, you know, people have to understand that uh, when when someone says something like like this, we put every available resource. Everybody comes together from, like I say, state, local, federal. It, it it's it's just a lot of work. Yeah, so people are pissed, okay? Resources were spent, time was spent, people were worrying, praying that this woman gets found, okay, because she was kidnapped in Alabama. You all, you guys already know how that story would have went, okay, where they were going with that story, right? Uh, because, again, it is Alabama, and we have a, a black woman being kidnapped, right? We all know where this story is going. But anyways, yeah, you have people worried about her, and now that... You know, the facts and evidence have come out to suggest that she snatched her own wig, right? That she faked her own kidnapping. Uh, black women in particular are especially pissed. This is Carly Russ. Carly, she was lying this whole mother time. You got me on here acting like I'm Oprah Winfrey, ho. I peeled off every single one of my lashes, ho, because I'm so stressed out about you, bitch. I'm talking about I keep watching the highway footage. I just swear up and down. A midget got you in a headlock, but that's really you going in your back seat to get the snacks from Target. I done called my grandma about you, ho. I done told my grandma to create a prayer circle for you. I really was worried. Then you done stole from your job. You done put the money in your sock and rolled up to your mama's house butt ass naked. But you got some money in your sock. Some of the kidnappers gave it to me. So the kidnappers gave you a parting gift. This is why they don't believe us when we be missing. It's really people out here that need help and you wasting our time because you trying to make a nigga mad. You finna piss me the f*** Carly. I really made a video about this shit. I don't be speaking on nothing, but I spoke on your lying ass. And you had to be from Birmingham too. Yeah, so it's hard for me to disagree with her, right? I think that this angry black woman in this instance is uh, rightfully angry, right? Because I'll be angry too if I wasted my time and effort on this. Uh, however, uh, in the light of potential charges coming against her for calling 911 for a false incident and lying and, uh, using resources on this stupid <laughs> situation, um, you always have the woke revolutionaries out here who are screaming about, what about whites, right? What about white people who lie? Take a look. So Carly Russell lied and we know that lying is bad in every instance, correct? However, I still think there's something at play here because when particular people lie, they get criminalized. While when other people lie, they get simply turned into memes. Shout out to Permit Patty and Barbecue Becky. The glee that y'all had about Jesse is the same glee that y'all have about Carly right now. And it's the reason why so many of y'all is suspect. You see what I'm saying? Y'all are licking y'all chops, salivating over the fact this woman lied and y'all turn into an aha gotcha moment. It speaks volumes of your character. I don't care. I want my prayers back from Carly and she lied and she needs to go help and she needs to go to jail too. She obviously need help. 
She obviously was very insensitive for lying. She obviously got a whole bunch of things going on with her mentally because ain't no way in hell. But peep game, no. The fourth thing is the inconsistencies in how y'all deploying criminality. I go a joke for y'all. The police never put more effort into an investigation than when they want to disprove a black person. <laughs> now lying is bad. And it's wrong for everybody to do it in every instance. Now we all know it's probably a 1,000% chance that the public shame and being called a liar and insensitive is not going to be enough for old Cardi Russell. She's going to probably have to see some type of court. Y'all want to see in handcuffs, whatever, right? We know that she she going to get her reckoning, you know what I mean? She's going to be, quote, unquote, held accountable. You see what I'm saying? And agreeing. I believe she lied. We all know she lied. That's bad. Now, the next time Karen get the line and having law enforcement involved, had the same energy about tax dollars and had the same energy about locking folks up the line. Now, let's have the same energy for the rest of the liars. Because ain't no way in hell y'all claim to be so bout it, bout it, y'all want to see this black woman in jail. And again, lying is bad. Carly Russell is lying and she, she, she shouldn't have lied. You see what I'm saying? But let's not allow the individual actions of an individual to reflect how you feel about an entire group. In conclusion, let me ask you this. If the individual actions of one black woman line makes it where you look at the entire group of black women differently, how did you really feel about black women anyway? Education is elevation. I'll holla at y'all until next time because you're not going to play in my face. All lies matter. All lies matter. All lies matter. Nah, for real. Yeah, so these woke, fake, educated idiots are some of the worst <laughs> people on the internet. And he's one of them, right? His name is DeConscious Lee, okay? Again, he pretends to be educated when he's really ignorant, okay? He's extremely ignorant, so ignorant that he uh, failed for this uh, obvious hoax. And again, he's trying his best to try to save face for the fact that he failed for this obvious hoax instead of just coming out here and saying, yeah, I failed for it, you know, Hey, maybe I shouldn't believe all black women, right? Uh, you know, just because they, they say something doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Maybe I should use my critical thinking skills, which he obviously, you know, lacks because this guy is basically trying to say, well, what about all the carrots? What about all the carrots? AKA, what about all the white people? All the white people that lie, right? They need to get the same smoke and energy. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking the whole time, I'm like, what are you talking about? The so-called Karens that lie, do get the same smoking energy, right? The people that he pointed out in the video that lied, right? George Santos, um, they're going out to him right now, right? Relentlessly, they're going out to him. Trump, they're going out to him relentlessly. He also pointed to the story about uh, Amy Cooper, uh, the New York City dog walker, who uh, called the police on the bird watcher who was actually trying to lure her dog away and threaten her, okay, before she called the police. Um, she had her life ruined for lying, even though I don't think that she was actually really lying. I mean, again, th the guy had threatened her, okay, but she got her life ruined. There's been countless number of white people, white women, okay, in particular, uh, that have lied and have gotten their lives ruined because they lied or they called the police for unjust reason. It happens all the time, okay? <laughs> the woke mafia led by people like this guy, they make sure that those people are held accountable and face consequences regardless of whether or not they were justified in actually calling the police, <laughs> right? But I'm just saying, there, there is no disparity. There is no double standard here, okay? All these people who get caught lying get the same smoke regardless of race. And what I find to be so funny about this is that this guy makes a joke about how, well, police only care about searching for black women when they're trying to prove that the black woman is lying, right? That's the only reason they went out of their way to expend all these resources to try to find her because they wanted to prove that she was lying. When, if they did not expend these resources, if this did not get national news attention, you would have woke revolutionaries, race hustlers like this guy out here complaining about how police aren't trying hard enough to find this woman because she's black, right? And how these news stories never get attention because she's black. Nobody cares about black women. That's what these people would be complaining about. So again, we have another situation when it comes to black people is damned if you do, damned if you don't, you're still a racist, right? You can never be right. You can never get it right when it comes to these people. You can't, okay? Again, y'all remember the Gabby Patino story? The white girl that went missing for all those days? 
Joy Reid went on national television talking about, well, we never talk about black women that go missing and black women go missing more than anybody else, except she never talks about when black women go missing. She doesn't care when black women go missing. She only cares when she can try to race hustle and gain something out of it politically. But otherwise, she don't give a damn about all the thousands of black women that go missing every single year. Again, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't with these people. But again, people like this guy, Again, he, he is a part of the bigger problem in the black community when it comes to accountability. He doesn't want to hold black women accountable for anything, right? Clearly, all those other uh, people that he pointed out, whether justly or unjustly, they're being held accountable, right? They were held accountable. They were mocked and ridiculed for lying, okay, or calling the police falsely, right? That's what happened. So, again, what are you talking about? What he's talking about is that he just don't want black women to be held accountable. Black women should get a slap on the wrist when they're wrong, right? She shouldn't get thrown in jail, right? When No, she actually should get thrown in jail. She should. She should face some time. She should face some charges. She should face accountability for what she did because she had a whole group of people, a ton of people in this country worried about her uh, and the fact that she had gone missing when she faked it. You have police resources expended, taxpayer dollars spent on something that's not a real crime. And again, this does not help when black women go missing, when they actually go missing, when they're actually kidnapped. This doesn't help their case. This makes it harder to believe black women. It makes it harder to take these cases seriously. Again, it's the same thing when it comes to the Me Too stuff. Women who falsely accuse men of me too or assault or whatever you want to call it yeah these women deserve to be punished because you're making legitimate cases of me too you're making them seem less serious it's less likely that people are going to believe you in the future same thing when it comes to these people out here always crying racism crying racism falsely when you cry racism falsely you make it harder to believe instances of real racism that happened So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, if this woman does get charged, she deserve it and she should be punished for it. Because, um, again, you should punish people who make these false accusations, whether that be when it comes to faking their own kidnapping, racism, Me Too, whatever. If you're making false accusations, you're expending taxpayer dollars on something that's not real, on something that's fake. Then, yeah, you need to face accountability for it because you dilute real instances of crimes Right. And you make it harder to believe people who actually really go through this stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.